There you are. Nice to see you. Am I loud enough today, Scott? Hi, folks. It's your old pal, Dr. AJ. Caterpillar. Sex therapist at large. You may have read my best-selling book, Fuck Yourself to a Better Life. Mmm. That's tasty. Let's get to the letter, shall we? Oops. That letter was harder to find than a bronze G-spot, Scott. You know, Scott, uh, I have some advice for the ladies out there. Ladies, you very often say, why can't you find my clitoris? A man couldn't find my clitoris with a map. Well, let me tell you something. Why don't you throw off the hedges down there? Do a bit of a shave job. Because if you want a guy to find a penny, if you want to chuck it in the bushes over there or toss it on that nice pavement, pavement's a little easier to find. That's all I'm saying. You go the way you want to go. A lot of very hairy women don't get fucked, but, you know, maybe some guy spent some time in the jungle and goes, ooh, she's a little bit like Ookla, the gorilla queen. <laughs> so I'm saying. I can say that, because, Scott, I'm blessed. I'm not a hairy man. I have a perfect triangle of hair right here, enough for a girl to curl up her fingers in, yank on a little bit while she nibbles on my nipples. You need to be open talking about sex. You need to put it out there. Everybody's so repressed, Scott. Watch this. I just touched my own bag, Scott. Do I look upset about it? No, the Italians do it. It's a cultural thing. We do it. We're worried people are looking. Girls, trust me. Let a guy adjust his bag. Otherwise, he's walking behind you in the mall like this. Until you turn around, that's Okay, let's get to the letter, shall we, Scott? Yeah. Dear Dr. Caterpillar, My boyfriend seems to want to paw me all the time. He always wants to have sex with me. All the time. What can I do to get him to cool it down a little bit? Geez, your problem is your boyfriend wants to give you pleasure all the time. Oh, I guess you want it when you want it. Well, guess what? He's a guy. He wants it all the fucking time. Guys wake up in the morning going, who can I fuck? Who can I fuck? Who can I fuck? Who can I fuck? Girls wake up in the morning going, who can I fuck to get something? That's right, because they hold the key to the kingdom. All the guy can do is keep knocking on the door, but they're the ones inside who either open it or keep it shut. That's the way that works. So my advice to you is if you want your boyfriend to quit pawing you and touching you and trying to have sex with you, buy a Horton's uniform. He'll get as fucking far away from you as possible. Jesus Christ, that's a brown polyester birth control device. Buy my book. It's called Fuck Yourself to a Better Life. 